So it is so far into August now that I can't even really remember July, but I wanted to do this every month and I'm not gonna give up after one month. So even though this is probably just gonna be a bit shit, I'm doing it anyway. Like, the first thing that happened in July that I liked was the Lord Mayor's celebrations. I've never been to see the procession before. I think I've lived here like five years and that was awesome. I'll link to my videos of it. Pokemon Go! Obviously. I feel like the only people that aren't playing Pokemon Go are the sort of people that when you say that you're playing it, go, oh gosh, not you too. Pokemon is amazing. Being able to find them out in the world makes going outside better. One of my favourite films is Amelie and I have not watched it in so long. <sighs> But I watched it in July. Watch it. It's such a beautiful film, I love it. Emily. I made myself a lady baby patch. Yeah. I hand painted it. I recorded doing it, I was going to make a video about how to make yourself a patch. And I still might upload it, but I got a bit put off just because I can't remember if it was the next day or two days later after I'd done that they announced that Ladybeard wasn't going to be in Lady Baby anymore and you know, sorry girls, but let's face it Ladybeard is why I was there Did I jinx Ladybeard? I don't know why he left actually, so I don't know The best book I read in July was Clothes Music Boys by Viv Albertine? I think, I don't know how you say her name. I didn't really know anything of her before, but I just, I had heard that this book was amazing. And wow, it is. Read it. It's so honest and just interesting. And oh, I'm going to read a few of my favourite bits because I can't do reviews, but you know. I can't wear my beautiful D Terry de Havilland boots because they're brown. You can't wear brown. It's the most reviled colour. Not just because it's considered lame, being a mixture of other colours, even a colour has to stay its position, but because it's bourgeois, worn by people who live in the countryside. It's too comfortable. Acceptable colours are black, white, red, shocking pink, fluorescent yellow or green. Almost impossible to find anything in London in these colours. Tartan, anything bold. Pastels are weak, unless you wear them ironically or in a contrasting fabric like rubber. Grey is for old people and suits. As for beige, you may as well be dead. Whenever I get a free period, I set off to the college library and work systematically through the Dewey system, taking each book off the shelf one by one and adding in Black Biro slash she and slash woman to every he and man. I do this for the whole three years, but I never finish, and luckily I never get caught. I do it with righteous indignation. There is hardly one book in the whole library that doesn't use only the generic male pronoun. As if only men think and feel and discover and read. We've been taught on this course that every single mark and sound on film or the page is important and laden with meaning. And yet every book in this library talks only to men. Language is important. It shapes minds. It can include, exclude, incite, hurt and destroy. If language isn't powerful, why not call your teacher a cunt? I keep going over the crimes in my head. Why has it happened to them? What is the common thread? All I can come up with in the cases of murdered or abducted children is that the majority of them were either too young to say no to an adult or brought up to respect adults too much. I promise myself that if I ever have children, I will make sure they are not in awe of people in authority. I'll bring them up to understand that sometimes you have to speak up and tell an adult to fuck off and know that even if you're wrong, your mum will back you up every time. They probably aren't even the best bits of the book. They just are bits that... I liked and made note of. Read it. It's awesome. July ended with Pride in Norwich and oh it was so good. I've only been, last year was my first year and I went by myself because Will was working and this year Will came with me and we had such a good day. We watched the march and then we got on the end of the march and then we stood in Chapelford Gardens and watched all the performances and the entertainment and we had a nice lunch, we sat on the grass and we danced and oh, it was just awesome. So that's it for July. 
I don't know if anything else happened. Like I said, so far into August now, the beginning of August was my birthday and my parents came down and I just didn't do anything except have a birthday for like a week. So yeah, that was July.